In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth. And the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. O oh God, who through the blessed Apostle John, having not, have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvellously brought to our ears. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, Forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Something which has existed since the beginning, that we have heard, and we have seen with our own eyes, that we have watched and touched with our hands. The Word, who is life, this is our subject, that life was made visible. We saw it and we are giving our testimony, telling you of the eternal life, which was with the Father and has been made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we are telling you, so that you too may be in union with us, as we are in union with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this to you to make our own joy complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. The many coasts, let's be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said. We don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw, and he believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this time, when the goodness and kindness of God our Saviour have appeared, let us, dear brothers and sisters, humbly pour forth to him our prayers, trusting not in our own good works, but in his mercy. For the Church of God, that in integrity of faith she may await, and may welcome with joy him whom the Immaculate Virgin conceived by a word and wondrously brought to birth. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for the progress and peace of the whole world, that what is given in time may become a reward in eternity. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For those oppressed by hunger, sickness or loneliness, that through the mystery of the nativity of Christ, they may find relief in both mind and body. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the families of our congregation, that receiving Christ, they may learn also to welcome him in the poor. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord our God, that the Virgin Mary, who merited to bear God and man in her chaste womb, may commend the prayers of your faithful in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.